For witches and wizards and muggles alike, I have a little treat for you because I got a first sneak peek of the Splintered Wand, which is a wizarding bar opening up in Ballard, Washington. This bar is a magic themed or Harry Potter themed bar, not officially Harry Potter because I don't think legally they can call it Harry Potter. It is definitely a fantasy bar to bring your friends, family, and kids if you would like. I got the opportunity to get a sneak peek of this bar because I won a costume contest, so this is my costume. I went as a fortune teller, so these are my handmade robes that I bought at a renaissance fair, so I absolutely love it. They hand selected local wizards and witches and other magical creatures in between to join them for a little press release with our local news. All of us were vaccinated and they definitely checked at the door to make sure that you were vaccinated before entering. Of course, like myself, I arrive late and I got seated a little bit away from everyone else. They didn't call it a dungeon, but I mean, it kind of felt like I was in a dungeon. You can see from this photo that it's kind of like a really cozy dungeon. So one of the founders actually came out and answered some questions that us witches and wizards had about the place. And I only caught little bits and pieces of it, so bear with me. I apologize. To the founders, if you're watching this, if I'm getting it wrong, the founder shares his experience that he had at Universal Studios Ollivanders. So I love Ollivanders. I love that experience and everything about it, but he kind of felt differently about that experience. He said something that was just like super, I just thought it was really funny, but he was just saying like, you're corralled into this super stuffy room and they pick one child that he knows for sure did not pay for his own ticket to get to experience the process of selecting his wand. And then after that, everyone else just kind of goes into the gift shop and not everyone else gets to experience selecting the perfect wand for you or the wand choosing you actually, let me correct myself. So he wanted to create a place where Everyone is welcome. Everyone is chosen. He doesn't even believe in calling muggles muggles or non-magical folk mundane or anything like that. At the splintered wand, he calls them fallow. Your magical journey begins as soon as you choose it to begin, and that is why you are called fallow. You are not a muggle. You are not a mundane. You are just untapped potential. Some tips before you actually go to the splintered wand. You do have to make a reservation in advance. They're pretty much booked out into January and their scheduling system is kind of wonky. For your dress attire or you know your magical outfit, they advertise as being casual or creative. Come as your magical self. Now if you live in Ballard or Seattle and you're thinking that, oh my god, it would be amazing if I could work at this magical location, get to dress up in my magical robes every day, do keep in mind that it is actually very competitive. So the owner has stacks and stacks of resumes to go through, but there was one in particular that really stood out for him, and you can see from this little clip, one of the staff members holding his resume or his cover letter handwritten on a scroll, probably delivered by Owl, and I think he rightfully got the job because this guy was so friendly, he was such a wonderful host, he actually was the first person to greet me at the door, and he made me feel very seen just as a humble fortune teller amongst all of the mermaids and goblins and other magical creatures that were a lot flashier than myself. He really made me feel seen and I definitely felt special, so good job Splintered Juan on hiring this man. I don't actually remember his name. I got to experience a sneak peek as a contestant winner, but I didn't actually get to experience the food or drink or anything else. I am definitely planning to go back with a group of friends. Uh, my reservation is in November, so I mean, I'll eventually get to go. Let me know in the comments below if you have a magical place in your area or if you would come to the splintered wand. What would you want them to offer you? So that was my super magical, super fun experience at the splintered wand. Be sure to check my links below or information if you are interested in going to see the splintered wand. Alright, happy Halloween!